10 years ago, I met with Bill Gaultier, who was a co-worker at the Christ Cathedral, and happened to also be a licensed therapist and a pastor to pastors, and I only recognize now this was he was totally planning on doing this, but we just started hanging out and getting coffee and praying together and being pastors together. What I didn't realize for years and years is I was actually getting therapy. <laughs> he tricked me into therapy. <laughs> And all he was doing was teaching me to talk about uh, the, the challenges of life, my stressful day, my wounds, what it felt like to have somebody insult me or disrespect me or, or to get my heart broken. And, and I remember I, I started talking to him intentionally about this because I've always been a little bit of an obsessive guy. When I get a, something I'm into, I get really into it. And at the time, there was this totally innocent hobby and it had just completely consumed my life. And I was talking to him about this. I said, you know, all I can think about is this thing. And it, I feel like it's hurting my friendships and my marriage and my church. And that was sort of the beginning. So this went on of me learning to be open and honest with Bill. And he started teaching me how to do that with Hannah and with my friends. And it took years. But then it was like my emotional life, that kid that had become calloused and tough, started to come back, back to life. It was like... Have you ever fallen asleep on your arm and you wake up and it's just, you, you could like cut your arm off and it wouldn't even hurt, you know? But the, you start to rub it and it actually is painful at first. It tingles and then it, it really hurts. That's what coming to life emotionally was like for me. And it happened because I started being vulnerable, honest, and receiving empathy from people who love me. It's time that we get more vulnerable.